Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are discussing about CSIR net exam questions. So then start. The first question is the correct sequence that matches the following is sediment gravity flow. On the right one is grain support mechanism. Sediment gravity flow. The options are turbidity, current, debris flow, liquefied flow, drain flow, drain support mechanism, matrix strength, fluid turbulence, dispersive pressure, escaping pore fluid. Now check the answer. Before checking the answer, just go through the table characteristics types of sediment gravity flow. Types of mass transport, internal mechanical behavior, transport mechanism and dominant sediment support, caustic record characteristics sedimentary structure and bad geometry now sediment gravity flow debris flow or mud flow in internal mechanism behavior is plastic and transport mechanism and dominant sediment support shear distributed through the sediment mass Class supported above base or bed by cohesive strength of mud matrix and classed beyond C can be initiated and move long distancing along very long angle slopes. Acoustic record characteristics are C floor reflector may be hyperbolic, irregular, or smooth. They are the three samples. Commonly acoustically transport with few or no internal reflectors. Mounted or less shaped with blunt termination at head may be chaotic internally. In sedimentary structure and bed geometries are Class matrix supported, class may exhibit random fabric throughout the bed or oriented sub panel, especially at base and top of flow unit. Inverse grading possible, class size and matrix content variable occur as sheet to channel shaped body centimeter square. To 10 second, 10, 10, 10 second meter thick, 100 second to 100 second meter long width variable. Now the grain flow are, it is also internal mechanical behavior is plastic. Plastic. Cohesionless for transport mechanism and dominant sediment supports are cohesionless, cohesionless sediment supported by dispersive pressure. Usually requires these steep slopes for initiation and sustained downslope moment. And acoustic records characteristics are also same for this. this one. Now go for sedimentary structure and bed geometry. Massive class A axis parallel to flow and 
एम्ब्रिकेट अपस्ट्रीम इनवर्स क्रेडिंग में अकर नियर बेस लिक्विफाइड फ्लो इंटरनल मैकेनिकल बिहेवियर इज ऑल्सो अ प्लास्टिक एंड ट्रांसपोर्ट मैकेनिज्म एंड डोमिनेंट सेडमेंट सपोर्ट आर क्वेश्चनलेस सेडमेंट सपोर्टेड बाय अपवर्ड रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ फ्लूड डिस्टेंस एज लूजली पैक्ड स्ट्रक्चर कोलैप्सिस सेटल इनटू अ टाइटली पैक्ड ट्रैक्शन रिक्वायर्स स्लोप ग्रेटर देन थ्री डिग्री थ्री डिग्री अकॉस्टिक रिकॉर्ड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आर इंडिविजुअल फ्लो डिपॉजिट्स वेरी थिन में नॉट बी रिजॉल्वेबल With present seismic reflection techniques, repeated flow may produce a sequence of thin, even reflector. Now, next one is fluidized flow, and the internal mechanical behavior is now this is fluid, not plastic. And transport mechanism and dominant sediment supports are. Cohesionless sediments supported by upward motion of escaping pore fluid, thin, less than ten centimeter, and short lived. Now, acoustic record characteristics are. Sorry for. Sedimentary structure and bad geometry. Now for these are the vaulting structure, sandstone, dikes, flame and load structures, and con convolute bedding, homogeneized sediment. They are the examples. Now for turbidity, current flows, transport and mechanism, and dominant sediment supports are glass supported by fluid. Turbulence can move long distances along low angle slopes. Acoustic records characteristics are thin, even, continuous, acoustically highly reflective units. On lap slope or raised topography is continuous, migrating and climbing in channel sequences. Now for sedimentary structure and bad geometry are coma sequences, MM two several ten seconds of centimeter and ten second to one thousand second. Meter in length, and width is variable. We are the values. Now the answer is answer C. Answer C. This one. The next question: Match the metamorphic faces in column one with the mineral assemblage in column two. The first column is green schist and blue schist. And C one is amphibolite and D one is granulite. Now the column two is. Glucophane plus losonites plus albite and hornblende plus plagioclase and C option on the right chlorite albite epidote and actinolite and the D option on the right ortho pyroxene and clino pyroxene and Plagio place. Now check the answer. 
before jumping to answer let's check also the table for this Faces and typical minerals. Faces are low sunite blue schist. And the low sunite blue schist typical minerals are blue cofane, low sunite, garnet, albite, chloride, zeocyte, and etc. And faces of Epidote blue schist are typical minerals are leucophane also, garnet, epidote, albite, chloride, geocyte, and etc. Eclogite for faces are typical minerals are garnet, ophicite, paracasite, geocyte, zoicite. And canite and tangite and green schist are chloride, albite, white, ricus, actinolite, and calcite. Epidote, amphibolite, lacuclide, lacuclase, hornblend, apiodate. Actinolite, biotite, chloride, and etc. Now faces for amphibolite. Typical typical minerals are lacuclase, hornblende, domingtonite, biotite, carnet, clinopyroxin, and orthopyroxin. And pyroxin. Granotite. Typical minerals are lacuclase, linopyroxin, orthopyroxin, and garnet. And last one is biotite. And last one is for faces of olivine, pyroxin, granulite. And typical minerals are lacuclase, linopyroxin. Orthopyroxine, olivine, and garnet. So, for this answer is answer A. This one. Sorry. This one. Now, next question is. The total energy of wavelet in bracket 2 plus i comma 1 plus i comma i i minus 1 i minus 2 is and there is the options so the answer is total energy of wavelet in equal to 2 plus i square plus 1 plus i square plus i square i minus 1 square plus i minus square equal to bracket in root square 2 square plus 1 square and whole square plus bracket root 1 square plus 1 square whole square plus root 1 whole square plus in bracket root 1 square plus 1 square whole square plus in bracket root 1 square plus 2 square whole square and after calculating this and this is the answer for this question. Now the next question is, you are required to resolve for the root of the equation x cube minus 2x square plus 4x minus 1 equal to 0 in the limits 
0 and 1 by the method of false position the inference you obtain at the end of first interaction is all the options are this now check the solution given equation fx and your equation is x cube minus 2x square plus 4x minus 1 now put the value x equal to 0 or x equal to 1 for first time now put the x value 0 equal to minus 1 now f x f f of x f 0 less than 0 okay now x equal to 1 f of 1 equal to 1 minus 2 plus 4 minus 1 equal to 2 now x equal to 1 f of x 1 greater than 0 one of the root on fx lies between 0 to 1 intermediate value equal to 0 plus 1 divided by 2 equal to 0 0.5 now 0 to uh, one of the root or fx lies between 0 to 1 now put the value 0 0.5 f of x 0 0.5 equal to 0 0.5 cube minus 2 into 0 0.5 square plus 4 into 0 0.5 minus 1 equal to 0 0.125 minus 0 0.5 plus 2 minus 1 equal to 0 0.625 and f, now f of x f of 0 0.5 greater than 0 okay now now root lies between 0 to 0 0.5 not 0 to 1 okay intermediate value equal to 0 plus 0 0.5 divided by 2 equal to 0 0.25 f of value 0 0.25 equal to 0 0.25 cube minus 2 into 0 point square plus 4 into 0 0.5 minus 1 now the value is this 0 0.015625 minus 0 0.125 plus 1 minus 1 now is minus in minus equal to minus 0 0.1094 and f of value 0 0.25 is less than 0 now root lies between 0 0.25 to 0 0.5 now intermediate value 0 0.25 plus 0 0.5 divided by 2 equal to 0 0.375 now f of x value is 0 0.375 equal to 0 0.375 cube minus 2 into 0 0.375 square plus 4 into 375 minus 1 now you calculate this and this value is given okay now f of 0 0.375 is greater than 0 okay now so root lies between 0 0.25 to 0 0.3575 intermediate value equal to 0 0.25 plus 0 0.375 divided by 2 so root lies between 0 0.25 to 0 0.375 okay Intermediate value 0 0.2725 plus 0 0.375 divided by 2 equal to this value. Okay. Now this value put in fx. F 0 0.3125 and this value put in equation in this. Okay. Now you have you have got this value 0 0.08252. Now f of 0 0.3125 greater than 0. So root lies between 0 0.25 and 0 0.3125. So the option is C. The correct answer is C. The root lies between 0 and 0 0.33. Okay. Yes. Now, the next question, this one, 
Ni has the most tightly bound nucleus because it's and the option is A the highest binding energy B the highest binding energy per nucleon C undergo radioactive decay and D a long half life the most tightly bound of nuclei is Ni62 because it has the highest binding energy per nucleon okay and this is the graph of this mass number in y axis and binding energy per nucleon in x axis okay and the most tightly bound nuclides okay. the gross the graph goes like this and this is the value for this nuclide ni62 and this is the value for all of fe 58 56 fe cc and i and this is the value for this so after this conclusion the answer is b which one is this this one the highest bounding binding energy per nucleon Now the next question. Next question is for ferry type Cu deposits are associated with what? The option is A is mid oceanic ridge setting, intra cratonic rift setting. Continent ocean subduction setting, ocean ocean subduction setting, and the answer is this one the theoretical part porphyry copper deposits are copper or bodies that are formed from hydrothermal fluids that originate from a voluminous magma chamber several kilometer below the deposit itself okay predating or associated with those fluid are vertical dikes of porphyritic instructive rocks from which this deposit type derives its name okay Porphyry deposits are commonly developed in regions that are zone of low angle subductions. A subduction zone that transition from normal to flat and then back to normal subduction produces a series of effects that can be lead to the generation of porphyry deposits. Okay. And the upper portion of porphyry copper deposits may be subjected to supergene enrichment and this involves the metal in the upper portion being dissolved and carried pot down to below the water table where they precipitate okay so this conclusion the answer is c which one this one continent ocean subduction setting 